So if you look at a lot of firm's financial filings, you'll see that a lot of firms file something called a statement of retained earnings. And this really is nice in that it's not a difficult statement to put together or understand. It's basically uh, really a big T account uh, to explain what happens to the retained earnings balance during a period. So the main couple things that affect retained earnings, we've got net income and we've got dividends. But it's also important to, to remember that like changes in an accounting principle, uh, corrections of errors, uh, those type of things can also affect uh, this retained earnings balance as well. So I think it's just a good idea we just go through a, a sample uh, statement of retained earnings and just see how it's put together. So we've got our statement of retained earnings. okay, And we start with the beginning balance, just like a T account. We've got $100 in our beginning balance of retained earnings. Now we're going to go to an adjusted beginning balance, right? So what we're doing here is first, uh, we're going to have any of those changes in an accounting principle or something like that. So let's just say uh, that we have, in this case, we have some kind of correction of an error. So there's an error correction. And because of that, the accountants have determined that actually uh, retained earnings should be $10 higher. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this error correction and that's going to give us an adjusted adjusted beginning balance of 110. Okay, so obviously this isn't the ending balance. We haven't uh, factored in net income or anything like that yet. Uh, we're just saying that that really we've done we've done our homework and we said, you know, we sh we should really be adjusting that balance. It should be at at 110. Okay? So now we get to to kind of the the, the meat of the matter and we've got net income and then we're going to have dividends if any okay so we remember that net income I'm assuming it's positive obviously it's the income and not a net loss uh, that's actually going to increase uh, retained earnings so net income for the period let's say that that was uh, let me switch back to green let's say that was thirty five dollars and then now of course if, if we had a loss that would that would decrease uh, that balance, but it's going to increase it. So let's see here. Now we've got dividends, and let's say that there were dividends of five dollars. Oh, I should just just for sake of consistency, I'll keep it the same color. We had dividends of five dollars, and now we can go ahead and calculate our ending balance of retained earnings exactly like we would as if we were doing a T account. So we started with one ten. We add 35 of net income, and of course we would have subtracted that if it was a net loss. And then we're going to subtract this $5 of dividends. I'm just going to put that in parentheses so you know that that's being subtracted. Because dividends, we're paying out some of our, our retained earnings, right? We're decreasing our equity. So what we're going to have is 110 plus 35 minus 5, which is going to give us 140. Okay. So our, basically all we're doing with this statement of retained earnings is we're just saying, okay, where do we start with retained earnings? What happens uh, during the period, or or what kind of corrections do we have to make, and then and then what happens during the period in terms of our our income or loss and our dividends, and then where do we end up? And then investors can just kind of look and see, okay, how many how many dividends are being paid out? How how is it that this retained earnings balance was affected from the previous year until today?